everyone. This is Little Books, Great Stories. Today we'll be reading Positively Purple by Linda Ragsdale and illustrated by P.S. Brooks. I really love this book because it's so inspiring and it's great for children and adults of all ages. So let's begin. I really hope you'll enjoy it. Positively Purple Written by Linda Ragsdale and illustrated by P.S. Brooks. P.B. and Jelly were best bear friends who loved to play together. Visitors at the zoo would whistle and whoop as P.B. and Jelly played ball. Until one day when P.B. threw the ball and it didn't come back. So P.B. waited and the visitors waited, but there was no ball and no jelly. Jelly was sick. The zookeeper came and she called the nutritionist. The nutritionist came and she called the zoo director. The zoo director came and he called the doctor. The doctor came and he gave Jelly some medicine. Jelly felt better, better and purple, Jelly shrieked. Look at me. No, don't look at me. The medicine turned me purple. I feel better, but I can't be seen like this. I can't let the visitor see me like this. Jelly tried to rub off the purple. She tried to scrub off the purple. She even tried to paint on some white but Jelly stayed absolutely purple. Jelly's friends came to visit her. Pinky strutted in with fabulous flamingo flair. Who cares what color you are? You just be you, she said. I'm proudly pink. Show the world the purple you. Petey pushed past Pinky and splayed a splendid tail of shimmery blues, greens, and purples. Look at me! When I stand this way, I'm blue. When I turn this way, I'm green. Why are you hiding in this cave? Look at you! You're exquisite! You need to parade this new hue of purple you. Carlo strolled in to see Jelly. He changed color five times as he crossed the room. Green to blue to red to orange and even purple. Change is good, he said. You'll see. Jelly thought of her friends. She didn't feel fabulously pink. She didn't feel shimmery blue. And she couldn't keep changing colors. She could, however, change one thing. She could change her attitude. So she did just that. I'm going to be the most amazing purple bear, Jelly declared. I'm going to be absolutely, positively purple. From that moment on, Jelly was back to being Jelly. Jelly ran purple. Jelly swam purple. Jelly laughed and played and even did a handstand purple. And the visitors changed something, too. Some days you'll feel proudly pink. Some days you'll be boldly blue. Some days you won't know how you feel. But with a good attitude and some good friends, you can turn any day into an absolutely, positively purple day. So together, let's all stay positively purple. This story is also inspired by the true story of Palusa the Purple Bear. I really hope you all enjoyed Positively Purple, and please come back for more stories. Thank you.